And welcome today to our loving kindness meditation practice, tailored specifically to cultivate self compassion. So, as you settle into your spot, you can move the body around, find that nice settling energy, start to soften the eyes, and take notice of your breath. And as you settle into your posture, just take notice of how the body feels. The sensation of your feet touching the floor. Your bottom touching the cushion. The weight of your arms and your head. Be in your body. Right here. Right now. Fully inhabiting your lived experience. And start to allow your attention to move outward towards sounds. And take notice of what sounds are arising right now. Are these noises right outside your window? A fan blowing in the wind. Leaves rustling. What sounds do you hear? Trying not to reach out to the sounds, but just let the sounds arrive. The sound waves entering your mind and your body. As we start to focus on our breathing, the sense of inhaling and exhaling, and whether you feel your breath most strongly at your nostrils, or perhaps that your chest rises and falls. We'll take a few moments just to rest with our breath, it's simple and easy. Notice the peacelessness of being quiet, of resting, as you just gently breathe. And now I'd like you to bring to mind some aspect of your personality, or perhaps some mistake you've made, maybe what you would consider a failure, Something that's been bothering you lately. Something that perhaps you've been criticizing yourself for, or that has made you feel inadequate in some way. Whatever this is, trait or action, try to get in touch with it. Get in touch with your feelings about it. And try to identify what it makes you feel. I'm sad, frightened, isolated, inadequate. How have you felt when you thought about your feelings of inadequacy? And start to see if you can locate the sensations of the emotions in your body. And perhaps it's the tightness in your throat. Maybe a heaviness in your heart. Tension in the shoulders. And try to identify what emotions you feel when you think about this mistake or inadequacy. And where are those emotions felt in the body? And 
Try to allow them to be there instead of resisting the feeling. Sometimes we tend to judge these feelings as they arrive. Just try to notice them. And what are my feelings? Where are the emotions in my body? And get in touch with how much suffering is caused by your self-judgment. Our fears of not being good enough. Some of our greatest suffering is caused at our own hands by the belief that somehow we should be perfect. Take your hand or both hands if you prefer and place one or both hands gently over your heart in a calm, soft, comforting manner. You may even want to rub a little soothing, reassuring circle. And see if you can sense your heart right now. Can you let your heart be moved by how difficult your emotional experience is when you think about this thing that makes you feel bad about yourself? And so now we'll repeat some phrases, loving kindness phrases designed to help you feel compassion for the fact that you are an imperfect being. You try your best, but no one, no one on this planet is perfect. We are all inadequate in some way. We all make mistakes. We all fail. This is the human experience. It's okay. So repeat these phrases silently. I'll say a few set of phrases aloud and then you can repeat them silently. May I be safe. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be peaceful. May I accept myself as I am. May I accept myself as I am. Feeling the warmth of your hand on your heart. Feeling the warmth of your hand on your heart. May I be safe. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. May I be kind to myself. May I accept myself as I am. May I accept myself as I am. So repeating these phrases silently and really trying to get in touch with the intentions behind the words. The intention to offer yourself kindness 
compassion, acceptance. And as your mind may wander, which it inevitably will do, just refresh these phrases in your mind. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. May I accept myself as I am. Give yourself the same kindness and support and acceptance you would give to a good friend who is feeling bad about themselves. May I be safe. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. May I accept myself as I am. Remembering that everyone is in the same boat. Everyone feels inadequate in some way. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone fails. This is the human condition. This is normal. This is something we all share. It's perfectly okay. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. May I accept myself as I am. And remembering all your fellow humans who struggle with self-judgment the way you do. Let's change the phrases slightly so that we include everyone in our intention for self-compassion. May we all feel safe. May we all be peaceful. May we be kind to ourselves. May we accept ourselves as we are. May we be safe. May we be peaceful. May we be kind to ourselves. May we accept ourselves as we are. And gently repeating those phrases silently. Now try to think of something that's been causing you suffering that you don't necessarily blame yourself for. Maybe you have a loved one who's sick or something's going wrong in your life just due to external circumstances. 
It's something that's very hard to bear, maybe hard to deal with. And give yourself compassion for this source of suffering. Your suffering comes from two main sources. From ourselves not being as we want. Or from our lives not being as we want. So thinking of this aspect in your life that's causing you pain, repeat the following phrases. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. May I accept my life as it is. This is the way things are. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. And may I accept life as it is. Again, repeating these phrases silently to yourself soothing and comforting yourself with the difficulties of living the human experience. Deeply start to feel your caring, concern, tenderness for life, struggling like so many others. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. May I accept life as it is. Now once again, place one or both hands on your heart. Or if it's been there the whole time, really feel your hand on your heart. And while we've been focusing on comforting ourselves for painful feelings, for suffering, now see if you can feel what the compassion itself feels like. Maybe your heart is tingling or feels warm and feels vibrant in some way. start to notice the good qualities of an open heart that's filled with compassion, the beautiful feelings of tenderness, care, concern, kindness. Noticing the joy of compassion, of connectedness, of open-heartedness, This also is part of the human experience. Thank yourself for being a good person and a supportive friend. And take three deep breaths. And may we all be happy and safe and well and free.